Okay, so what is MOMSTER? Um, MOMSTER stands for Mobile Station, Mobile Meteor Stations for Education and Outreach. I learned also after submitting the proposal that MOMSTER is, uh, I quote, uh, what uh, your mother becomes when you, when after she counts to three. Um, so when she goes angry, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, in, in our project, Momster, we are using meteor science to steer the interest of students for citizen science and for STEAM uh, activities by talking about uh, meteors. And it's part of the, of the Browns project that uh, Hervé talked uh, already before uh, today. So to quickly repeat about the Brahms project, uh, we have more than 30 receivers in Belgium and the neighboring countries to monitor the, the meteors. Um, and um, on that, we try to determine, uh, for example, individual meteor trajectories uh, like uh, Hervé explained in his presentation earlier today. Um, we observe with the Brahms network 24, uh, 24 seven um, and detecting the meteors in our observations is not always easy, especially with the overdense uh, meteors. So the more complex um, reflections there, the human eye remains the best detector. And therefore a few years ago in uh, 2016, uh, we started with citizen science project called the Radio Meteor Zoo where we ask uh, volunteers to identify um, meteors during meteor showers. So when uh, most overdense meteors, uh, complex uh, shapes are, are uh, visible in, in our spectrograms. Um, but attracting new people for uh, the radio meteor zoo is not so easy, um, it's, a, it's a real challenge. Uh, we are participating to, to many events. We are giving talks um, at public observatories, for example. Um, but uh, recently we also tried uh, to get involved uh, with uh, uh, the educational uh, field. So um, I joined a, 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 an Erasmus Plus project called Brightech, which stands for bringing research into the classroom. And um, there, uh, we collaborated together with, with the teachers uh, to co-create educational uh, material. Um, for Belgium, there were three projects uh, selected. Uh, one was about uh, noise, the, the other about um, air quality, and then uh, the third one was about uh, meteors, uh, which I, I um, explained to the, to the students. Um, with Monster, we, we go one step uh, further, which I will um, explain in a minute. Um, the project goals of the Monster project is to stimulate STEAM uh, at school. Um, STEAM stands for uh, science, technology, um, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And the idea or the, 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 the the ultimate goal is to nudge uh, the students' future career choice towards science and engineering and technology. We also want to stimulate the use of citizen science in school, in particular, uh, of course, of the, of the radio meter zoo. Uh, and for this, we developed a hands-on uh, meteor education kit um, to facilitate bringing citizen science into the classroom. And uh, finally, we also want to reach the, the general public <coughs> uh, through the educators at the planetarium and also at the public observatories um, that will uh, use the, the kits uh, and, and the educational material that we have uh, developed. What did we achieve up to now? Um, first of all, we created um, educational material um, in the framework of this of this Brightech project, but also afterwards in the framework of the, of the Monster project. Um, we did this in co-creation, so we, we asked teachers to, to help us to uh, create this, this material uh, because we believe that they are, they are the experts in how to convene um, this kind of information uh, to, to the students. So we bring in the, the 
the scientific knowledge they bring in um, the way how to 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 um, explain it to to the children let's say um, we also make sure that this educational material is uh, accessible to everyone uh, by making it freely available on our website um, but also by making sure that um, could be also used uh, by uh, children with disabilities, for example, uh, color blindness, uh, or um, that uh, someone in a wheelchair, uh, for example, could also participate in, in, in the monster project. We also developed a mobile meteor receiver. Um, the receiver box that you see on this slide at the right side, um, contains uh, the electronics and it contains uh, um, uh, a, ras um, a Raspberry Pi, um, an RSP2 software defined radio, a GPS disciplined oscillator, and also a calibrator that uh, keeps uh, both um, the frequency and, and, and the signal strength uh, calibrated. Um, the mobile meteor antenna that we are using for the MOMS project is much smaller than the antenna for the operational Brahms receiving station. But as you can see um, in this example, um, the, the difference in, in signal strength or um, in, in the amount of noise between the operational Brahms station with the, with the big antenna and, and the monster educational setup with the much smaller mobile antenna, the, the difference is not that uh, that big between those two. We also asked uh, students to um, design uh, something to put on top of the of the monster box. That's uh, the picture that you see um, on 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 the left and also a banner um, that um, explains the difference between a meteoroid, a meteor, and a meteorite. Uh, that's the banner that you see at the right side. So both are, are uh, designed by uh, high school uh, students. And finally, um, last academic year, we um, also had a, a pilot phase uh, where we asked three schools uh, in, in, in Belgium to test uh, the monster box and, and to provide their uh, feedback. We also sent the monster box during summer holidays to two space camps. Um, and uh, there um, they tested it also. And they made some, uh, some nice pictures and they were very happy uh, with the re results they could uh, achieve uh, with this uh, monster box. What are our future plans? Uh, first of all, to make active promotion in Belgium and the neighboring countries um, in order to, to, be, to, to promote the, the project and, and to send the monster boxes uh, to, the, to the schools. Uh, but for that, we also have to, to organize uh, the teacher trainings uh, or a teacher training and, and the first one uh, for that uh, was organized already in, in August and the end of October, uh, we are planning uh, a second one for that. So that's uh, basically my presentation. Thank you very much.